Although officials are not saying which neighborhoods suffer the most fatalities, we do know the Rosedale community is in mourning tonight. WVUA's Lynn Brooks shows us what one local family is going through. This is 10th Avenue in the Rosedale community of Tuscaloosa. You can see the power crews are working diligently to try and get the electricity back on in this area. But for families right here who lost their loved ones in this community, still many dark days lie ahead for them. When I called her, all I heard was screaming. Those screams were coming from here. Two little girls, their mother and their grandmother were huddled together and all D'Angelo Edwards could do for his family was pray. We all fell on our knees and we prayed. When I got to my mother's house that it wasn't there. Edwards' mother, sister, and three-year-old niece survived, but no one could find five-year-old Michaela. Family and friends searched this area for two days around the clock before checking one final place. We went to the, to the VA hospital and where they was, um, you know, bringing bodies in from the tragedy that happened. And she was there. She was there and, and she was gone. No one knows for sure exactly where Michaela's body was discovered, but it's believed that she was found somewhere in the area of this brown couch here in the Rosedale community. Uh, the family says that the last time they were here in this neighborhood, obviously times were much happier. It was Easter Sunday. They were all together as a family, and little Michaela was here opening her Easter goodies. So they are trying to hold on right now to those happy memories. My niece was an angel. She had never be forgotten. She had never be forgotten. And God gonna help me make it happen. Lynn Brooks, Tuscaloosa. Michaela's three-year-old sister, Anila, is in DCH with severe head wounds, but she's in good condition. Her mother, Ariel, is in the intensive care unit, and the grandmother, Vicki Edwards, is at DCH tonight in good condition.